So today we are here in Chapel Hill Memorial Gardens. I've been here before. I was I actually came here before to visit to find a resting place of Jay Van Andel. Sorry about the voice guys. I'm just getting over being sick. But um today we are here to visit the final resting place of Richard Evans. A lot of you probably won't know who that is, but if you're from Michigan, you may possibly know who he is after I tell you his story. I'll see you guys soon. Let's do this. So now, if, if you guys grew up uh, in the Michigan area in the 70s, 80s, I never used to watch the uh, news or anything like that. But one day I decided to watch this news program that we have right here in the West Michigan area, uh, Wood TV8. And they used to have this... Uh, their news show was called Live at 5.30. Investigation continues tonight into that plane crash in New York which killed four Holland residents. We'll tell you more about the victims. Also, police in Norton Shores have their suspect in a double homicide. A father is charged with throwing his two young sons in a foundry. I was home one day with my mother and like I said, I usually don't watch the news. But I sat down and the this, this segment came on live at 5.30 and I was in this other, this guy came on and he, he had some interesting stories and stuff he would do on his segment. It's called On the Michigan Road. And I thought that was pretty, pretty cool that this guy would travel through Michigan and go to these awesome locations and meet these interesting people and just see the most amazing things. Like, I've never seen a, an Ephibba car, and he did an episode on a, an Ephibba car. It's a weird little car with a horn on the hood, boat running light, vents in the fenders, and a gas tank on top. The MC license gives it away, and so do the twin propellers in the back. Bud Walters, car salesman, said, this is the way to enjoy a convertible. Cold as it was, top down. It didn't take long to gather a crowd on shore. This is the Amphicar. The people, you know, they they come right out with their cameras. Just they run in the, they, if they're on shore, they run in the house and get their cameras and take them. Well, these things don't leak, huh? Yeah, they leak. They do? Yeah, they leak. This particular one is, is very, uh, water tight but you can reach out and touch the water it's that high on the door we've had waves come right over the top of it we've been in that rough water with it we decided to speed up a bit and it makes quite a wake probably runs about eight miles an hour full speed on the water it's a little triumph motor the crowd on shore kept growing where did you get this thing brought this up in traverse city at a collector's auction. Before we got it, it was completely restored because it had been in Travis Bay at the bottom of Travis Bay. And about well, now you tell me. <laughs> Bud says his car is worth about $7,500. He's seen them advertised as high as 15000 If we were to stop, turn the engine off, would this thing sink? No. I'm Dick Evans, 
on the Michigan Road. After I saw that, I got hooked. I got hooked on watching uh, Dick Evans do all these shows. I would watch the on the Michigan Road and just start watching his travels every day at live at 5:30. I would watch all his different tra travels and stuff that he would do. And he, and now to think about it, he he was an explorer. He, he was basically a YouTuber before there was even a YouTube. And I, to that day, I wanted to do some of the things that he's done. I wanted to travel, I wanted to explore and meet cool, interesting people. And he was kind of like my inspiration for what I do now. And now I'm doing it. I'm traveling. I'm exploring. I'm doing the things I wanted to do. And Dick Evans was my inspiration for that. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait to tell you guys Dick Evans' story. So if you travel up this pathway, there's the entrance, one of the entrances to the uh, Chapel Hill Memorial Gardens right there. You'll see that the silo from the uh, Patterson Family Farm right there. The entrance is right here. And you travel up this pathway. A little ways up this hill. And Mr. Evans, his final resting place is right here. Richard Williams Evans was born in Belafonte, PA and grew up in cities throughout the country as his family moved with his father's job as an officer in the U.S. Public Health Service. Evans attended Georgia Elementary Academy, Georgia Tech University, and the University of Illinois, where he took journalism, speech, in pre-med classes. He was a World War II veteran and got his start in radio in 1947 in Champaign, Illinois. He was hired on July 1st, 1963 as a news reporter covering police crime, government, and politics for Wood Television and Radio in Grand Rapids. He covered presidential visits and national political conventions in Atlanta. He was sent by Time Life Broadcasting to Yugoslavia to produce a series of feature stories. Evans began his Michigan Road reports in 1971. He drove 700 miles to film four or more stories in a day. Evans and his cameraman would then return to the station the following day to edit and produce the stories. Wood TV routinely had a bank of up to a dozen new on the Michigan Road segments waiting to be released one at a time. Story ideas poured in from viewers from all over Michigan. Evans also read newspapers from every city in the state to build a long list of possible stories. When he and his photographer hit the road, they always had a schedule of primary and backup stories 
of the routes that they would follow. The younger reporters would just marvel at Dick's productivity. This man was on the air six nights a week. Dick saw humor almost in everything. He was such a positive guy. He truly had an adventure every day. And he never got tired of what he was doing. He'd find something interesting in about every person he met, every town, every place. Evans delighted in the simple things. He played to the taste of common people. The way he pictured himself, despite being in a business that promotes high-powered personalities, the camera often caught him in embarrassing situations, including several falls that left him limping. His cameraman said Evans insisted on keeping him in focus even in unflattering moments. He'd try anything. He enjoyed interviewing interesting people, the people with unique personalities. He would use any excuse to do a train story from miniature to full-sized. Dick thought of himself as a storyteller. He complained that television journalism should tell a story and not just read it. Dick was suffering from a fast-spreading form of cancer. He underwent surgery to remove a tumor from a lung and started chemotherapy. He returned to work and filmed a report with his wife, Betty, that explained his illness. He had intended to make one last Northern Fall color tour, ironically not on the Michigan road, but in northern Wisconsin, but instead was forced to return to the hospital. When he came back to, to the hospital, he was just determined to go on his annual fall color tour. He never made it. Evans was surrounded by his friends and family when he died at Metropolitan Hospital. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you share this video out and make sure you guys are subscribed. And, you know, because all that goes towards helping me do more adventures just like this one, guys. And I appreciate each and every one that watches my videos. I love all of you guys. I will see you guys in my next adventure. Peace.